Hey, what's up everybody? It's Guru, and today we got a little treat for you all. It is a new series, and uh, we don't have a name for it yet, but uh, we are talking cars. Yes, cars. Uh, we do have a few videos coming out, but today I thought it would be a cool idea to show you guys uh, the baby I've been driving since 2016, uh, and I'm super excited to show you guys what it is. This is my 2010 BMW 328i. Now, I've had this thing since 2016. Uh, it was 164,000 kilometers at the time. Now I'm pushing, I think, 245,000 kilometers on this thing. However, the reason why it's all dusty is because it actually needs an engine swap. So it's sitting here collecting dust, unfortunately. So we did pick up a new car and we will reveal that in the next video. But in the meantime, let me walk you through everything that I've put into this car throughout the years. So starting off with the front of the car, one of the first things I did was install this tow strap. The OEM tow hook pulls 1.7 tons and a strap actually pulls 2 tons, so something to think about. Along with the F-Series kidney grills here, I also installed these 3D printed intake scoops. I didn't want the bar, just wasn't my take. And then there's the front badge. So this is UK or Ultima class and they sell very unique BMW accessories. So for example, the badge sells only once a year. Lastly, I do have the 50th anniversary badge. Don't worry, it's not peeling. It's just the original seal on top. I just never took it off. Now moving on to the sides of the vehicle, I installed this gradual signal uh, along with the M sticker just because I couldn't find anything else. And then I also installed these fake carbon fiber side mirrors. So this was definitely a cheaper option at the time when I did the installation. So I have no regrets. Next is one of my biggest and favorite mods I've done on the car the carbon fiber hood. Now this is from Carbon Creations, right? It's very similar to the M3 style with the addition of the two vents on the front. And it was a very easy installation for something that weighs half the weight of your OEM hood. Now this was kind of a personal touch just for me, but uh, this little red tab actually has my number in it, just in case I park in a place where I don't know if I can park there so people can reach out to me before I get a ticket. The last thing on the front of the car is my artist name, so the Argonaut, this is what I use for my music and stuff like that. Will I ever post anything for you guys? I'll think about it. So moving to the back of the car, I did remove the chrome model identifier and replace it with these black ones. Again, we have the 50th anniversary badge, which is all over the car, right? The wheels and stuff. And then on this side, I just added this power logo. It's not an M or anything like that. I just like symmetry. So next is my second favorite biggest mod, and this is the high kick carbon fiber spoiler for the E90s. Now, this is incredible, right? I personally like lifted spoilers, but uh, this was a really great choice and it turned out really good. I love it. Lastly, on the back of the car, I did do a black muffler tip replacement. So believe me when I say those are black, it's just super dirty. And these do come alongside with a muffler delete. So that was the only thing I wanted to touch. I did not touch my cats or resis, and I'll explain to you why later. Now, I hope to God you guys didn't think that these OEM rims were what I was actually rocking because I do have uh, a full set, but I do have aftermarkets. Do not worry. OEM is 17 inch. These aftermarkets are 19 inch. So I would suggest people to get two sets of wheels because it does really make your life easier when you're swapping between the sets during seasons. Okay, so let's quickly talk about the elephant in the room because I'm sure you guys saw it earlier in the video. Yes, I have Vulcan red chrome tint on my windows, uh, both front to back to rear. And believe it or not, I've never actually been pulled over for it. And that's mainly because my driving record is clean and because I'm just not a reckless driver. Moving towards the inside of the car, I do have these custom diamond mats with, again, my artist name on there. Uh, these are a great investment because mud, dirt and stuff, it's so easy to clean. So I do suggest getting those. I did get matching vinyl sticky stuff, whatever you want to call it, for the center console here. Mind my car, it's a little dirty. Again, haven't driven it for a hot minute. And the passenger door handle right there has a regular carbon fiber. I couldn't find a red one, but the leather was peeling and it actually at one point started burning my wife's hand. So I did get that swapped out. Now the most recent mod I actually did are these purple interior lighting. Wanted to spice up the cabin a bit. And then you can see the tint. So for 5% chrome tint, it's actually very bright in the cabin to the point where I did have it double tinted at one point, but overall, it's not as dark as you think. Finally, moving into the engine bay, I honestly didn't do much at all. 
Uh, I did get some new beauty covers, right? I got them from a buddy of mine and I ended up spray painting them red just to keep that black and red consistency along with the bars on the side, the strut bars. And then I also installed a AFE Stage 2 air intake. This is the reason why I only did a muffler delete because if you do a muffler delete and you install this intake, your car sounds a lot lower. It doesn't sound like a whiny, broken vehicle. It sounds like what a German car actually needs to sound like. All right, and that's it for the video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I put a lot of love into that car. Again, it's unfortunate it's out there collecting dust. I can move it onto the driveway and stuff. Like, it's still drivable. But the reason it needs an engine swap is because uh, I started getting rod knocking, which is unfortunate. But as mentioned, we did buy a new car. So you will get to see that in the next video. Otherwise, if you guys have questions about some of the mods that I've done, uh, you know, any rules or regulations about how they work, feel free to ask me. I'll do the best of my ability to answer them correctly, just because I'm in Canada. So if you're asking from the States, uh, I'll do my best to kind of figure that out for you. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one, folks. See you then.